In this video, I will show you how to crop and resize your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro for YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels. And if you want to fit in your videos inside a custom shape like this or fade out the edges like this, then make sure to watch till the end. And if you're here for the first time, then my name is Suman and I'm a freelance animator. And in this channel, I upload animation tutorials mainly in After Effects. And recently, I also started uploading tutorials on Premiere Pro. So if that interests you, then do check out my other videos on this channel, of course, after watching this video. So that being said, without any further delay, let's dive right into Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and let's start with importing a video file. So for that, double click on the project panel and browse your file, select it and click on open and then click and drag it and drop it on the timeline. So this video is in complete 4K resolution and we have to change the aspect ratio and the resolution such a way that we can upload it for YouTube shots or for Instagram reels. So for that, make sure the timeline is selected and then go to sequence, then sequence settings. From here, you have to change the resolution. So for Instagram Reels or for YouTube Shorts, the required resolution is 1080 by 1920. So change it accordingly. And from here, you can change the frame rate. I'm going to keep it as it is and press OK. So now the resolution has been updated accordingly. Now, if you want to further adjust the frame of this sequence, then just select the clip and go to FX control panel and from the scale and the position property, you can scale it up, scale it down or adjust the position to properly fit in your video inside that frame. And following the exact same process, you can update your videos to some different resolution or in different aspect ratio. And if you just want to change the aspect ratio of this sequence, then the easiest way to do that is just select the clip, go to sequence and then auto reframe sequence. From target aspect ratio, you can change the aspect ratio. So right now it's in 16 is to nine. We can change it to a different aspect ratio. Let's say I want a square resolution. So let's select one is to one and click on create. And now the entire sequence is updated to a square resolution. Now you can select the clip again and then go to the effects control panel and you will see that the motion properties are disabled. So to enable it, just click on this FX button. And now you can readjust the frame of the sequence from the skill and the position property. And one more thing, when you are rendering out this clip, so let's select this timeline and go to file and then export and then media. So from the preset, you have to select adaptive high bitrate. Or you can even reduce the size by selecting match source, adaptive medium bitrate or adaptive low bitrate. But if, if you select any other presets like 4K or 1080p, your rendered file will look like this. So make sure that you are selecting, uh, selecting the presets from any of these three options. And now let's see how to fit in your videos inside a custom shape. So here I have a brush stroke shape mat in PNG file format and we're going to import it in Premiere Pro. So we can simply click and drag it and drop it in the project panel. And then we can drop it on top of the video file and extend it and match the length of the video. First, we're going to apply track mat key on the video clip. So select the video clip and go to FX control panel and type in track mat key and we're going to apply this effect. So double click on it to apply it. Then on the FX control panel, the track mat key is applied over here. In the mat section, we have to select the layer we want to use as a mat. So we want to use this PNG file as a mat and it is on video 2 or V2 layer. So select the video clip and go to track mat key and we have to select the layer video 2. Now the video clip is properly fit inside the mat. So we can readjust the mat by selecting the mat layer and we can change the position from the effects control panel like this. We can scale it up or change the position and here it is. And if we change the position or the scale of the video clip, it's going to move all together with the mat. So right now we can readjust the position and place it somewhere else like this. But when you are dealing with multiple layers in the timeline, then I would suggest you to first nest all the sequence together, then 
readjust the position of the skill so to nest it select all the all the clips together and click on nest and from here you can nest the sequence and click on ok and now if we select this clip and readjust the scale or position it's the only sequence we have to deal with right now and if you don't want to use external PNGs as a mat, then you can even create shape with the shape tool in Premiere Pro. So this is the shape tool in Premiere Pro. If you click and hold, you will get other options for the shape tool. I'm going to use the rectangle tool and let's create a square. So for that, press and hold the shift key and then click and drag and then just reposition it and place it on top of the face. And of course, if you want, you can even apply an effect like like uh, roughen edges let's apply it and let's increase the border value to around 250 and maybe the scale to about 10 and you get a nice green texture now if i just use this layer as a track mat this is how it's going to look like and finally, let's check out how to fade in the edges like this. So for that, I have created a new sequence. So let's select the clip and go to the effects control panel. In the opacity section, we can add mask with these shape tools. You can either use the circle or the ellipse tool, the rectangle tool or the pen tool. I'm going to use the ellipse tool for now. Now to readjust the mask, you can simply click and drag it like this. And from here, you can expand or add the feathering that I was talking about. You can even expand the mask from this from this rectangle. And from this circle, you can add the feathering. Or you can even adjust the feathering value from the mask feathering as well. And now if you want to reposition it into a different location, you can again select the clip, go to the position property and from the X and Y value, you can reposition it or maybe click and drag it directly from the preview panel itself. All right, so that is it for this video and I will see you in the next one. And as always, stay curious, stay bold and always push your boundaries. Goodbye.